in the state of Georgia, basically the governor, uh, the the governor uh, Brian Kemp, he's this Trumpian character. It's basically what he, what he represents. He's this establishment Republican hidden in populist clothing. That's who he is. That's what he represents. Um, dude basically rigged the election there in Georgia, kicked hundreds of thousands of African-American voters off the voter rolls, uh, squeaked by in a very tight victory against uh, and Stacey Abrams, the Democratic candidate. And now he's the governor of Georgia. Again, a Trumpian candidate. This acts like this Republican far right populist really is an establishment Republican to the core with this laissez faire corporate socialist ideals at heart. That's what that's who he is. OK. And everything was going smoothly with that until we reached the bump in the road that we call coronavirus. And in the city of Atlanta, our state's most populous city and metro area, the mayor of Atlanta, Keisha Lance Bottom, she instituted a national, uh, a, a citywide mask order. It was a citywide mask mandate. If you're in outdoor areas, you got to wear a mask. This is what all the developed countries across the globe did to stop the spread of virus in Italy, in Spain, across Europe. They've instituted measures like this. This Basic governing. All she was trying to do was do basic governing. Keisha Lance Bottoms was trying to do her job as mayor because Brian Kemp wouldn't do it. Many other Republican governors have refused to do it or are now turning the page. But Brian Kemp's holding strong. No mask mandates here in Georgia. You fucking idiot. Then he sued Keisha Lance Bottoms and the Atlanta city officials for instituting the mandate. And he signed an executive order voiding... All of these mandates, because they tried to do a similar thing down in Savannah, down in Macon. He's suing them. He's suing City of Atlanta and Keisha Lance Bottoms administration because they put in a mandate for wearing a mask, which all the health officials have said helps stop the spread of the virus. What is wrong with you? Why? No, this is, it, it's brazen, dude. It's brazen. What, what am I saying is brazen? It, their lack of care for anything beyond their donors and the corporate class. They don't care about you. And I, and, and I don't want to paint this as, oh, this is a Republican thing. This is a Democrat-Republican divide. Even though that on the issue of masks and the issues of public safety surrounding the COVID pandemic, this is, this is largely what it's devolved into. But the Democratic elite are doing it too. When you look at the economic crisis, they're not out here instituting basic reforms. They're not calling for a UBI. They're not calling for nationalizing the payroll. They were the main ones helping Mitch McConnell and Donald Trump give a trillion, multi-trillion dollar bailout to the huge corporations, pushing the Fed to put trillions and trillions of dollars of liquidity into the markets, buying back bonds and whatnot. They gave a huge giveaway to the corporations. The Democratic elite didn't give a damn about a UBI, nationalizing the payroll, giving the small businesses little tweaks around here and there, acting like they're progressive. But no, they weren't pushing for these things either. But they'll care about you wearing a mask. <laughs> but they're not, they're not much different. They're all lapdogs of the corporate establishment. This dude would rather, he's suing them. He's suing them so that we can bring back the jobs so the corporations don't go under and so that the little peasants have to trot back to work. They don't want to they don't want to close schools because then the workers have to stay home. Nope, that messes with the that messes with the dollar. That messes with the bottom line. So, we're going to force your children into schools into the little petri dishes that we call the education system right now. They're going to have to trot back to schools. Your ass is going to have to go to work so you can feed that little fucker in school. <laughs> and now you're back to square one where we're all dying because of the virus. Then it's the fall and the winter when the officials say that we're going to have a second wave anyway. It's a disaster. It is utter and absolute disaster. And it's all orchestrated because they don't give a damn about you. They could not care less about you. The Republicans slightly made more than the Democrats, but the Democratic establishment too. Because on economic issues, they could not care less about you and your well-being and your family's well-being, your community's well-being. And anybody who's not a upper middle class part of the economic elite, they don't care. They don't care about you. And it has never been more brazen. In the middle of a pandemic, people like Brian Kemp are suing mayors, suing the mayor of my city because they want people to wear masks. Because that is pushing you further and further back towards, oh, doing basic governing. Can't have that. We got to bring back business. Nope. 
Here's this quote. Here's this quote. This is what really infuriates me. I refuse to sit back and watch as disastrous policies threaten the lives and livelihoods of our citizens. No, you refuse to sit back and watch. You refuse to sit back and watch. It's not about, it's not about the citizens. Don't act like it's about the citizens, Brian. Brian. Don't act like it's about the citizens. You know it's not about the citizens. It's about the corporate elite. Because you got the you because you, you got all the corporations based in Georgia and also doing operations, regional operations in Atlanta. You got all of them in your ear, don't you, Brian? You got all of them in your ear talking about, hey governor, hey governor, governor, come on. Slow, come on, come on, hey. We need the workers to come back, Brian. We need the workers to come back, Brian. Trumpy, Trumpy Poo and all his officials, yeah, you're you're in talks with them, aren't you, Brian? You're in there, yeah, they're in your ear too, Brian. Right? It doesn't have anything to do with the state of Georgia. <laughs> Throw, throw, throw the 10 million people who live in the state right to the wolves. Doesn't matter about them. It's about Home Depot. It's about Coca-Cola. It's about all of them. They want their money to come back. All the corporations in, based in Georgia with regional operations there, Trump and all these people, they want the jobs to come back. They want the corporations to come back. And screw the virus. Screw the deaths. Screw your state. Screw anybody who's trying to survive. You piece of... It's disgusting, man. It's disgusting. And it's become a partisan thing. Uh, the Democrats, they think that, and this strategy is going to work as long as they ride the waves of being the party who actually stands for science and the party who actually stands for wearing a mask and basic governing, they're going to win. This is what the Democratic elite and the Democratic establishment, they've figured this out. If they just say, hey, wear a mask, wear a mask. We got to wear a mask. We have to protect our citizens. Trump, how dare you? You know, if they ride that wave, they're going to win. If they handle basic governing, they're going to win. And they're right. And I'm going to vote for it. Because at least they'll do basic governing. They've gotten me to the point where I'm like, I have to vote for Joe Biden. Because Donald Trump and Sean, and not Sean Kim, <laughs> Brian Kim, people like him are out here suing cities for putting in mask orders, forcing the reopenings of schools, saying we're going to cut funding to you if you don't reopen schools. You, that'll sicken me. You've got me to the point where I have to vote for Joe Biden. This is, this is the state of affairs, dude. It's disgusting. So we have to vote them out, man. We have to vote them out now. But most importantly, if we're going to vote out people like Brian Kim and people like Donald Trump, it's most importantly that after that, we still continue to hold power accountable.